Hey everyone, welcome back. My name is Zane. Today we'll be having a look at Helium. Helium is a decentralized blockchain powered network for Internet of Things IoT devices. It was launched in July 2019. The Helium mainnet allows low power wireless devices to communicate with each other and send data across its network of nodes. So today we're going to go through Helium itself. I'm going to explain to you what Helium is. That was just a quick summary. We're going to do a price analysis, of course, of Helium. It currently sits at $25.50. We're going to go for a network update. Helium Crypto Wireless Network founders raised $200 million rebrand to Nova Labs. So we want to get involved in this and understand what exactly is going on. And let's not forget, we'll also go through some blog updates. If there's any recent updates available on the Helium blog, We'll go through that if it's relevant to what we're talking about today. So before we continue, allow me to declare that this video is not financial advice, it's strictly for educational purposes. Now, nodes come in form of so-called hotspots, which are combinations of wireless gateways and blockchain mining devices. Users who operate nodes thus mine and earn rewards in Helium native cryptocurrency, also known as HNT. Helium's goal is to prepare IoT communications for the future, identifying inadequacies in current infrastructure from its birth in 2013. Helium's three founder, Admir Halim, Sean Fallon, and Sean Carrere, started the company in 20 started the company in 2013. So that's just a quick brief history and summary on Helium itself. Now Andreessen Horowitz 776 Goodyear Venture, Dutch's Telecom, and others are backing the latest crypto unicorn. Helium Inc., the original creator of Helium Decentralized Wireless Network, is now valued at $1.2 billion after a $200 million round. Now, the firm will be known as Nova Labs, going forward to help differentiate the team from the community-run crypto-powered network. Helium that's being rebranded as Nova Labs is completely separate from the Helium cryptocurrency, and they want to show the world that they are separated. So even though today we're talking about Helium crypto itself, any latest updates in the Helium ecosystem, I'm telling you what Helium is, more information on their ecosystem and how they're branching off and how they're affecting the world, that they're not a part of the Nova Labs anymore, even though that's who created them basically because Helium Inc. is the original creator of Helium Decentralized Wireless Network, just to keep that in mind. Now, Helium provides a unique use for crypto tokens as a decentralized wireless network, powered by token incentives, and a platform has surged in size over the last year. Now, the founders and core contributors behind the network has raised significant new funding to keep building, albeit under a new name. So yes, it will be under a new name. Today, Helium Inc. announced a 200 million Series D funding. The round hours perform at a pre-money valuation of 1 billion, bringing the firm's updated value to 1.2 billion. Now the round was co-led by Tiger Global and Andreessen Horowitz, a 16 ounce crypto fund. The firm also announced that now will be known as Nova Labs, part of an effort to help alleviate confusions between the Helium decentralized network project and the blockchain behind it, the Helium token and the core team that started it all. So Helium is actually the people's network, Nova Labs COO Frank Mong told Decrypt. He also said, we wanted to change our name to create the clear distinction that we don't own the network. We are the creators and founders, but we open sourced it. And it's important to recognize that people are the ones that are tirelessly growing and maintaining the network. So this is great from the COO, the chief operating officer himself, Frank Mong, is telling the world clearly that we don't own the network, is completely open source and is completely being maintained by the people who run, by the people who own token within the network, almost like a DAO. In fact, that's exactly what a DAO sounds like. So along with the name change, Nova Labs has granted the Helium trademark to decentralize wireless alliances, which will be renamed the Helium Foundation. The Decentralized Wireless Alliance is the community selected governing body behind Helium's network, and it oversees things like network improvement proposals. Again, sounds like a doubt to me. Helium was co-founded in 2013 by Sean Fannin of Napster fame and Admire Aleem, and its initial wireless network was built for the Internet of Things devices like sensors and trackers. So users can now share their home internet service via Helium miner nodes. 
which basically spreads out the signal across miles and rewards users with HNT tokens for supporting the network. How fantastic. So that network has grown rapidly from just 14,000 active nodes to at the start of 2021 to more than half a million by the end of the year. As of today, Helium Network has more than 680,000 nodes up and running. So that's obviously fantastic. They go into more information on launching of 5G network. So that's quite interesting. Designed for devices like smartphone, laptops, tablet, partnership with Freedom Fi. Obviously, we will be getting involved in our price analysis and price prediction. The price has been doing rather good lately. 6.3% in the last 24 hours alone. It has been fluctuating and been quite volatile throughout the last month. Throughout the last three months, it's just been falling in value, in my opinion, from around $44 to sometimes as low as $20. So that's, that's quite crazy in itself. But Helium ecosystem is quite vast. And if you go to their website and you check this out for yourself, it will be confirmed. They have plenty of things running on their ecosystem, from integration to roaming to user-friendly applications, community tools and hotspots. The list goes on. It's quite vast. It's quite impressive. And of course, the big update in the ecosystem is Alleviate Helium Network with the new Helium Inc. name and Series D funding. So they talk about the exact same thing in this article as we were just talking about in the Decrypt article. But in my opinion, Decrypt has actually explained it really simplistic. So that's quite good. So there's plenty of other updates to go through on the Helium Network. If you do find this video interesting and you'd like me to go for anything else, obviously leave a comment and let me know so I can make an additional video. But for now, let's get into our price analysis. So we know there's a strong resistance just around $20. Even since around the 14th of March this month, once again, strong resistance was just as low as $19.98, roughly around $20 once again. Quite impressive. And for this month, at the end of this month at least, a ceiling has achieved of around $25. 0.9 US dollars, almost 26 US dollars. Now where this is all rank helium, that's 49 in the world of all crypto, quite impressive, 2.9 billion in market cap, 114.3 million in circulating supply and 223 million in max supply. That's with a 24 hours trading volume of 89.3 million. Really impressive stuff. And you go back just a year, it's all time high was as high as 52 US dollar. But what can we expect in the month of April? Honestly, it looks like it's definitely on a road to recovery. Looks like there's definitely in the recovery mode, which is good to see. But since it's in the recovery mode, how I can it get? I'm definitely predicting around $28 to around $30, to be honest. I definitely think you can hit $30, $35 before the end of this year. But how about April? What can it do for us in April? I'm looking forward to around $20. I'm expecting at least around $30 in my opinion. That's mostly because it's on the road to recovery and growth. The last time it was around $30 was actually on the 11th of February. That's quite some time away. But it's proven this before that it's been as low as $20 and it's recovery well above $31. US So it's possible that it will do that again in the next coming months. And I'm expecting this in at least April. Based on my analysis, based on the, the patterns that I'm seeing, based on the flows that I'm seeing and the ceilings, it makes more sense. Then it's on a recovery. It's on a road to recovery and I'm expecting $30 quite soon. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to see more. Leave a comment, leave a like. And of course, I will see you in my next video. Thank you for watching until the end.